Welcome to another video on Python programming. So in this particular video, I am going to show you how to write uh, a function in Python which will uh, calculate the distance between two uh, uh, points on xy plane or, or uh, on a plane, okay, uh, or simply calculating the uh, distance between two point on a Cartesian plane okay it could be three uh, you know two dimensional plane or it could be a three di a three dimensional plane a four dimensional plane n dimensional plane and so on um, I'll show you uh, calculating distance in two dimensional plane you can extend that to three dimensional plane now uh, this is very important in many uh, like this is a very important concept used in, in a number of uh, you know, uh, numeric, numerical and analytical uh, activities. Uh, you might have heard about uh, the least square calculations. It's also used over there. So many times we will, uh, you know, want to uh, calculate the distance between uh, two points to be able to you know, infer something about it. Okay, just to know whether they're closer to each other, whether far away from each other. Okay, that's uh, important to know. All right. So how do we do that? So what is the formula that we have learnt uh, in the school algebra about the distance between two points? Okay, so if the two points are x1 and x2, sorry, x1, uh, y1, so this is the point, let's say, uh, point A, and then point B is... Um, x2 y2 okay so the x uh, means uh, the uh, value of the x axis or the distance from the uh, origin from the in the x axis and y is the distance from the origin uh, in the y axis right similarly for point b and remember this is a two dimensional plane okay so the distance uh, between two points given the coordinates so these are known as the coordinate x1 y1 x2 y2 are the coordinates so coordinates of two points are given so distance is given by the distance formula x1 minus uh, x2 uh, uh, whole square plus y1 minus y1 minus y2 whole square and uh, you have to take the square root of that square root of the entire expression to get the distance so square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square um, and that's how you calculate the distance between the uh, two points okay so let's comment it out all right so let's write a function which will do that for us so uh, we'll just parameterize it so that we'll just uh, you know provide the inputs as x1 y1 x2 y2 to this uh, to this uh, you know uh, to the function and it's going to calculate the distance between the uh, two points so um, define a function let's say let's call it as uh, distance distance and uh, we'll have x1 x2 sorry x1 y1 x2 y2 all right so there are four parameters to it x1 y1 x2 and y2 okay so x1 y1 is the coordinate for point a and x2 y2 is the coordinate for uh, point b and we just want to find out the distance a b okay so let's write the formula inside so uh, so we call it as dist or or maybe you can call it as distance but you know it's going to confuse you can you, you will confuse with with the name of the uh, you know function so it's better to give a different name I'm calling it as dist so distance is 
x1 minus x2 so I'll just have to write x1 minus minus x2 whole square so how do we write whole square of an expression we just you know use uh, two asterisks and then two which is whole square and then y1 minus uh, y2 whole square and then put it in uh, bracket so this is just one expression x1 minus x2 uh, x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square and then we need to take the square root of that so how do we take a square root of something uh, you can uh, call the math libraries and you know use the square root functions I don't know what the square root functions are in Python so you can what you can do instead is that take um, the whole square uh, to or, or take uh, for the expression just take uh, raise the expression's power to 0.5 okay um, so square root is nothing but um, so for example you want to write square root of x which is equal to x to the power 0.5 right so that we know from the uh, school mathematics right square root of something is nothing but uh, that number to the power 0.5 or half okay um, exactly so that's exactly what I have done uh, distance is uh, x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square and I uh, you know you add that add these two uh, expressions and then take the square root of that okay so that's the formula I'm going to use and then we will return uh, return distance okay and make sure um, there is proper indentation otherwise it's going to throw an error so We'll just compile it. We'll just save it and compile it. Okay, and then let's let's calculate distance. Okay, so distance and let the uh, coordinates are let's say the x1, x2 takes a value of uh, four, five. Um, y uh, x sorry x1, y1. X1 is four. Y1 is five. X2 is let's say six, and y2 is eight. Okay, so the coordinates are 4, 5, and 6, 8. Okay. All right. So the distance is 3.6. Similarly, uh, you can calculate distance for some other, uh, you know, set of coordinates. Okay. It could be a larger number, let's say uh, 1 and 2, and then something like uh, 100 and 150. Okay. All right. So that's the way you can write a distance function, which will calculate the distance between two points on a um, on a um, you know Cartesian plane. You can extend that to uh, you know three-dimensional plane as well. Okay. So we have x1, y1, x2, y2. You can add. Uh, okay, x3, y3. Now it's now it uh, is a three dimensional plane okay and you just have to change a slight or do a uh, slight modification in the uh, calculation uh, in the formula okay so we have distance for uh, calculations for x axis so this takes care of this this is the distance calculation for y axis and you have to do a distance calculation for the z axis so uh, okay so that says that is x3 Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. We are making a mistake. Okay, so in the three dimensional plane, it's not going to have, so uh, I, I'm really sorry. So you, you're not going to have x3, y3. Instead, you will have x1, y1, and z1. Okay, and then x2, y2, and uh, z2, or g2. Okay, so. So what you need to do in this case is find out the distance expression for uh, x1 uh, for the x-axis for y-axis and for the z-axis. So this is for x-axis x1 minus x2 whole square 
so that calculates the distance um, between uh, in the between the x coordinates and this expression calculates the distance between y coordinates and then you just have to add the distance calculation expression for the z coordinates okay and take a square of that all right and then uh, we use this you know pretty much the same thing okay so if you could change the formula it looks something like this okay uh, g1 minus g2 okay so we are exactly using the same formula except the fact that we now have uh, another coordinate we had uh, two coordinates now we have got three coordinates all right so we'll just save it and we'll compile it and then let's calculate the distance in a three dimensional plane so x1 is let's say 1 x2 uh, y1 is 2 and z1 is 3 x2 is let's say 4 uh, y2 is 5 and z2 is 6 all right so distance is 5.19 in this case all right so this is how we can write uh, a distance formula you can extend it to any number of uh, you know coordinates and uh, um, you can also find out uh, distance uh, you know not just between um, you know uh, two points you can also find the distance and compare between multiple points um, so you can play around with that and you can extend this formula uh, so thanks for watching and uh, thanks for the subscription and please subscribe to our channel for